Have you ever wondered if you can use food coloring to color your candy coating wafers? I'm Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com and today I'm going to tell you all about how to color your candy coating wafers using food coloring. First things first, you need to make sure you're using the right food coloring for this project. Gel food colorings and liquid food colorings won't work. They're water-based so they'll seize your chocolate you need to use oil-based candy food coloring. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And I'll show you the different stages as I add more food coloring to achieve a darker color. Using oil-based candy colors is super easy. Just melt your white candy coatings in the microwave 20 seconds at a time, stirring in between intervals. Or if you don't have a microwave at home, you can use a double boiler. Once your chocolate is melted, you can just add the oil-based candy color right to the chocolate. If you need to make multiple different colors, you can separate out your candy coating wafers into smaller bowls after it's melted. Each of my prep bowls has approximately a quarter cup of melted white candy coating wafer. And I'm starting with an eighth of a teaspoon of food color to each bowl. At the end, each bowl will have had three eighths of a teaspoon of color to achieve the final result. You'll love using candy colors in your candy coating wafers because you can mix up custom colors that might not otherwise be available in the standard range of colors. They're also great if you're painting in chocolate molds and you just need a little bit of color. You can just add some of the oil-based food coloring to your white chocolate in a pinch and there's no need to run back out to the store or order separate colors online. At confectionaryhouse.com, we carry Chef Master brand candy colors and Merkins candy coatings along with thousands of different chocolate molds. So you can shop online and get all the supplies you need for your next candy project.